the Eurocentrist exactly, podcast. Welcome exactly. to the Eurocentrist podcast. Hey guys. guys, thank you for coming out. We wanted to show a little bit of the funny, happy side of Europe, but mm -hmm. uh, the European history is full of nightmares. I, I, well, every day we stray further from God. <laughs> Say that to Stalin. <laughs> <laughs> Schiffsfeinrich Eduard Orel, who is, okay, from Neutitschein. <laughs> Nice, nice. Neutitschein. <laughs> Honey, I can make some Neutitschein oh, with you. Yeah. <laughs> right. Among his religiously motivated views was a firm anti-vaccination stance. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Teenage and slave child soldier. <laughs> it's like From with the, the story of the first atheist. Yeah. <laughs> he, he definitely, I don't know why there's not a fedora in this picture. Right yeah, now. it should be. He would buy houses that were afire and houses which adjoined those that were afire. And these their owners would let go at a trifling price <laughs> owing to their fear and uncertainty. In this way, the largest part of Rome came into his possession. Wow. <laughs> Needless to say, the Pope was not amused and the Hitler didn't want to have Jewish tits shown so publicly in his <laughs> Oh my God.